Hello there, everyone. Welcome back to more Goodbye Deponia. Oh. We're, uh... Well, we have a fan. We... <laughs> we sure so, do. Oh, you're a fan of mine. My name is Barry. Barry the Fan! Miles, only so I can talk to my greatest idol just this once. Well, then let me talk instead of boring me with the story of your empty life. We should use the time for an interview. Uh, really? Yeah! Shouldn't you be nah, so over? she's totally uh, not her. All in good time. A true hero must take care of his fan base. Wow, you really are the greatest. Uh, here we are. The Claws Did of the Organon. I might save gold from the Claws of the Organon? Sure. The story about how you caught her when she fell from the sky is legendary. Almost as legendary as your selfless decision to take her back to Elysium, completely disregarding your own best interest. Legendary. Wow, it's that's. Epic. Who's been spreading these stories? <laughs> Do you know how I uncovered the Organon's conspiracy? Well, of course! You fought your way through hundreds of Organon soldiers to beat the truth out of me. That's how you learned that the Elysians are planning to blast Deponia to pieces, but they have no idea that Deponia is inhabited. This is like a weird mix of a, uh, a recap of the previous games. Seen through the eyes of a madman. Right. Wow. Sounds like you were there. Do you realize it was me who started the rebellion? It's kind of nice, actually. Well, Everyone can catch up. Floating black market, you had the idea to look for comrades and arms to fight against the darkness. That's where you recruit Yanish, Garland, and Weevil, who happen to be floating past in a pickle barrel. Gosh, he even knows the things I made up. <laughs> All right. Have you also heard? That I prevented the depopulation of the Rust Red Sea. Naturally, you led the rebel attack against an Organon blast tower. You blocked the bomb suspension clamps all by yourself, and then you proceeded to save Goal from the claws of her devious would-be fiance. It's it's Cletus. like we are seeing exactly how Rufus happens. actually remembers the events. Yeah. Oh. Uh. <laughs> yeah. Hey, you're gonna achieve it. Remembrance of things past. Kind of reminds me, did you ever uh, see the, the the South Park episode where uh, Cartman helps uh, him make the joke? Uh, Jimmy make the joke? I can't it's remember. the gay fish one, and each time Cartman remembers it, it becomes more about him and less in touch with reality until he's, I think he fights a griffin, kills it with a sword, and the, his final remembering of how they worked on a no, joke together. I haven't seen that one. Oh. How about a little photo session? Oh, totally like that. Fantastic. Hmm. Let's see. What would be a suitable subject? I could take a picture of you saving gold. Yeah, but then she would be in the picture too, right? Wouldn't that distract unnecessarily from the protagonist? Quite on the contrary. It would emphasize your selflessness. You think so? Mm -hmm. All right, then get ready and uh, make sure my selflessness is... There's really one thing we know. It's that he is selfless. Yes, sir. All right. Hi, Barry. Are you like an egg in a platypus egg catapult? Hey, how long have you been watching me? Uh, for quite a while. Whoa, that's uh, <laughs> incredible. Incredibly appropriate. Okay. Uh, a cannon. A big red button. Great. Goal. We're going to talk to Goal. I will save you! Ah! Oh! What are you saying? Ah! Oh! My soul belongs to you, <laughs> my selfless hero? Ah! No, I can't understand the word. So what do you think? The big red button or a cannon? Both. All right. Starting with the cannon, because it's closest. Wait, Goal. I'll shoot you free. But you're a crap shot! <laughs> yeah. No, I think it's a great shot. Remember when he hit her uh, her pod ah! as it was moving with a buzz saw blade with him attached to it. That's true. That's. Oh, bummer. No more. Oh, that's too bad. Well, I'll press the button then. Hello. This. It's a lever. Pull the lever, Kron. All right. Jeez, you Wrong lever. Speed control. Exactly. The manual. Uh, <laughs> <thingy>. <gasps> I feel another brute. So, Rufus maneuver pause, up. play, yeah, or fast forward. So it's Obviously, it's going to be fast forward. All right. Clearly. Ooh. 
du? Um, I see. You're accelerating the cruiser instead of stopping it like everyone else would have done. That because everyone else is an idiot. And the cutter being caught in the cogs is part of your plan as well, right? Uh, sure. All right, maybe we back it up. Now I'll use the cannon. Oh, no. Need more ammo. All right. Um, Nope. See, Faster. <laughs> Everything's going great. It's just what I wanted. A little fire. Um, oh, oh, he's on fire. Still, great. So My coat is on fire, but I'm still very happy to <laughs> Ooh, this. Ludicrous speed achievement. Your boots on that. <laughs> well, hey buddy, you appear to be unconscious now. A fire axe. And a hose. Uh, I'm going to attach it to the cannon. Ah, now we use the cannon. Everything seems to be working fine. Oh, bummer. No more ammo. <laughs> uh, what? Uh, daredevil. We're being heroes. So brave. Uh, luckily, we've got a fire axe. Hold. Poor guy, he missed it. Oh, but he sensed it. <laughs> Look at the nail. Look at the the grooves his nails have made in it. <laughs> hey, dog's walking. Yeah. Proving he has legs. So the Maybe he's hovering. Just haven't seen them. He's hovering oddly. for the long road ahead. So the mood and the group was just super whoopie doo yeah, except that they slowly grew ripe for the bad. For they knew that they would have to go on by foot. And no problem for such a walk is all the less stressful if you sing along with a motivating song. And it emphasizes I flood the cabin of the coast guys with helium gas. Wow. Alright. Helium gas. Helium gas. Oh, it's been a long time since I've had a chance, had a chance to play helium gas. Me too. The things that happen when you get old. I'm not old. You're not playing with helium gas. <laughs> Means you're old. Hey, we're at a place. Do you think she's angry at us? The way I took out that Organon with my shadow attack. Did There's no one here who can prove that it didn't happen. That was so cool. They call him Rufus. Do you think we got her outfit back? Everybody Maybe. now. He's cool and he's smart. It's something, something modern art. What? I regret everything. Where are you going? There's a hotel down there. I really need a wash. <laughs> Especially for my ears. Rufus but, tries. But go? Come on, Rufus. Are you, are you mad at me? Dirty, battered, humiliated. All of that. But mad at you? No. Good. So is she put it back together? It was actually kind of cool. Maybe. Huh. Oh yeah! Something, something modern art. Seems to warmed up to us at least. Haha! <laughs> 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 Stairs, dark and steep and slippery. <laughs> I'd better take a jump. After all, I hate to. Oh no, a kitty! No platypus. Fall on my butt. That would be too Not even a flying kind. Unless 
I don't know. It's like maybe that's a little platypus egg or something. But here we are. Hotel. Hey, it's a heart. Could be a love hotel. Ooh. And it's a pigeon. A love pigeon. Ooh. Pigeons are the most romantic of animals. Yes, they are. Well, the uh, lovebirds of the sea, as they're known. Duh. Oh, boy. <laughs> da, 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 da. Hmm. This place gives off a... You're going to be dismembered here vibe. Yeah. That's a weird looking picture on the wall. Yep. Yep. Um... I want to press the bell. <sighs> My huh. circuits are scrambled. I shouldn't get up so fast. Or get a little exercise. Whoa! Don't creep up on me like that! Creep? I rang the bell. Phew! I thought it was my tinnitus. It wouldn't surprise it's me, tinnitus? though, with all that noise from the cruiser loop, not to mention the cold draft or the mold, but I digress. Welcome to the Hotel Menetekel. Would you like to rent a room? Uh... Yeah. Actually, all right. I was just looking for my friends. Geriatric garden gnome, a girly giraffe, and a circus bear in a hat. Sounds a bear, like them. Yeah, they just checked in. They didn't look like they could afford a lawyer, so I gave them room five. But don't worry. As long as they don't touch any light switches, electrical sockets, or load-bearing architecture, they should survive the night, provided they stay in their room after midnight, of course. Which reminds me, do you happen to have unfinished business hmm. with these dark gods or the recently dead? Uh, not that I know. Well, of. actually, now that I think about it, that was the... You have no Dark idea God that was spreading the company's gonna be when it comes the, to the uh, restaurant. Of death. Oh yeah, from uh, 14 Please episodes ago. Mm -hmm. I, remember, I feel like it's well, maybe who knows? Uh, if you're right, you. I will give my kudos to you, name. sir. Yeah. Are you insinuating that this place is haunted? Not at all. We're safe here in reception. It's the rooms I'd worry about, <laughs> especially room 13. Why? What's wrong with room 13? Let's just say it was a mistake to bury the Indians there. Oh yeah, and an apocalyptic cult has occupied the laundry. So if you need clean bedding, you should make sure you don't carry any religious insignia or virgins with you. Huh. Well, okay. I'm gonna guess, well, Doc has a wife, so I presume he's safe. Um, Bozo had his girlfriend. She's violent enough. Maybe that counts. Rufus with with Tony. We're fine. She makes mistakes. For gold. Uh, gold though. Yeah, she makes mistakes. Yeah, but did she make a mistake with Cletus? Oh yeah. Mm. How will I find my room? Oh, probably horrible. <laughs> I wouldn't want to spend the night in there. Oh, oh why do I? I appreciate that joke. I really do. It's Maybe something like you'd find out of the comedies from 20 years ago. You think so? It's Menetekel. 30 years ago. the name was cute. It means something like impending doom. That's what I mean. Who wants to live with impending doom? Don't we all do that? Uh, right, but if you have a choice. But you don't. Or have you seen another hotel around here? He's got a point. Oh, that is a good point. location for a hotel right under the Organon Cruiser Hmm, you think so? Our surveys have shown that this is the ideal location for customers in our target group. Ugh. People without a sense of smell? People who are so desperate that they'll accept anything. Huh. Them. That sounds like us! Haven't you heard the rumor that Deponia is going to be blown up? Of course! That's why popcorn is sold out everywhere. Well, it's all true. But I'm the one who's going to prevent it. That's fantastic. Yeah, I thought I would wind up having to do that. What? For one thing, I was forced <laughs> to clean the toilet this week. Is that supposed to be a joke? <laughs> it got me. Of course I didn't clean the toilet. That'll be the day. Hello. <laughs> I'm talking about the greatest catastrophe of all time. Ah, so you've already seen our toilet. <laughs> I like it. I'm going to my room. I'm going to my room. As yeah, much as that, that seems like it might I be a mistake. And before you ask, that does not constitute an act of negligence. <laughs> oh. Get that checked. Oh. <laughs> sure. Yeah. I like that. 
I really do. Yeah, he's a character. He is. But just the, those, you know, those little lines. Those are, that's some comedy gold. <laughs> comedy gold. Uh, Alright, we'll go to our doom next time. Thanks everyone for watching. Take care.